Hello, it's Doris with all the books. Happy Tag Tuesday. I'm here to do the Racing to Read book tag. This is put out by Reading Rush and um, there's a giveaway attached. You could be a winner. So I will link that below so you can join in. Um, and a little disclaimer, I just like quickly grabbed these books like within a two to three minute span of time. So what I'm saying is not much thinking involved. Just fun here. Diving right in. Let's get going. So number one is your warm up, a book that stretches your mind. So hot off the press. I finished this one last night. Marilyn Robinson's When I Was a Child, I Read Books. This is a nonfiction piece by the author of Gilead, which, you know, is just incredible. I read the whole trilogy and then was so excited to find out that it's not a trilogy. There's a fourth coming out this fall. So I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. So um, really enjoyed this. However, um, this is heavy duty thinking like I really had to pay attention and I need to read it probably at least two more times to get half of it but yes she she's a thinker that one okay number two the starting line um, a book that you started but you never finished so um <laughs> I wrapped this book up like I had finished it, but I have not. <laughs> Oops. I started this one for Springathon, and it's, uh, oh, there's my bookmark, yay. So I am on page 167. So the thing about this one is it's just um, like encyclopedia textbook type essays about various naturalists. Uh, chronologically through time so it's more of a coffee table book not a read it all the way through book so it's all good I, I do want to finish it though um, in the next month or so because I don't really like having unfinished books lying around uh, number three I didn't number these that's a problem number three a sprint a book that you read quickly so I did my own personal little 24 hour readathon, but it was more like 36 hours. But I was trying to read two books uh, in a 24 hour period. So the first of those was Tracy Chevalier's Remarkable Creatures. And I loved this, which made it easy to read it quickly. So I read it in six hours. And I don't usually keep track of how long it takes to read a book, but you know, I made a vlog and I'm using the Bookly app now. So I know these things. Uh, yeah. So this is, um, the amateur paleontologist, Mary Anning, who, um, knew more than some of the trained paleontologists at the time. So super enjoyable read and very quick one. Um, number four, a marathon, your favorite long book. So, Quack! <laughs> Duck Sneaker Report by Lucy Elman. Thoroughly enjoyable spending time in this woman's head. Yes. And you're going to notice a theme after that because, you know, once you go down a path, you tend to, you tend to track that way. Uh, number five, Hurdles. A book that had ups and downs. Another big one. Uh, the Overstory by Richard Powers. So the, the first 150 pages of this, I feel like I don't need to tell you what it is because we all know <laughs> this one got much airplay. Uh, the first 150 pages were brilliant. They read like short stories. You were introduced to all of the characters and the trees and their moments in time. And I loved it. Uh, from there, 
it was very much up and down how I felt about each chapter. Um, some of them were hits and some were misses, but overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, the next one, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, number six, The Finish Line, a book you are proud to finish. Another hefty one here. Oh, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. So, yeah. This would be the reason I don't like to leave books unfinished. I got sidetracked. I started this with a two month long read along and two years later, I finally finished it. Uh, I joined in another buddy read with Joe and Charlotte and yay. I'm especially proud because I remember um, being in college and my um, youth minister's wife was reading it and you know, it was that moment in time for her, like, I want to, you know, it's one of those books that you feel like you should read at some point in time, and just, you really are proud to finish, so, anyway, good memories, good book. Um, the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, my memory is so good. Number seven, gold medal, the best book you read during a readathon. So I'm in the middle of my own personal readathon right now, uh, summer school readathon, and this is my favorite so far of the ones I can talk about. No, this for the readathon, yes. So When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanathi. I'd heard a lot of people really gush about this book and how good it was, and I was hesitant to read it because, um, yes, but it was surprisingly uplifting. So I'm very glad that I chose it for the readathon, uh, and that spurred me to read it because I really got a lot out of it. It hit me. It hit me. And coincidentally, I had picked um, three books for each category for my prompts so that I could um, have choices when it came to actually reading for the prompts and I read all three science books first. <laughs> so there you go. That tells you where my interests lie. And the last one, which I think is number eight. Yes, it is. I count it again. <laughs> number eight, uh, participation ribbon for an underrated book that you wish more people uh, would read. So if you are into fantasy fiction, put this one at the top of your list, or the first one in this series, which is City of Brass. These were so, so good. So, so good. And a little bit of a different spin on the fantasy genre. So get you out of all those tropes that sometimes, you know, you get bogged down in with um, fantasy. So Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. The first one is City of Brass. Highly recommend. More people need to read them who like fantasy. So, that's it. That's it. So, check out the link below if you want to participate and, you know, get in on the prize action. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon.